Now, the latest data from the Nigeria Interbank Settlement System NIPS shows that the total volume of electronic transactions recorded under NIPS Instant Payment NIP platform increased by 52% year on year to 48.3 trillion naira in March 2023. On a month to month basis, the value of transactions processed through the NIP platform rose by 31%. M on M. Now, this represents the fastest monthly growth recorded on the platform. The NIP platform has gained significant adoption as one of the most popular payment methods thanks to the continuous growth of mobile telephony and internet penetration throughout the country. The month on month surge in the value of electronic payments may be partly attributed to the reduction in the number of failed transactions on all e payment platforms witnessed in previous months. On a cumulative year-to-date basis, the total value of electronic transactions recorded during the first quarter of this year amounted to 124 trillion naira, representing a 45% year-on-year growth. We will focus on e-payment transactions on the show today. Welcome to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadone. Welcome back. We'll begin with a roundup of um, major business headlines. We'll begin with the capital market. Investors on the floor of the Nigerian exchange look to take profits as the local boss closed negative on Thursday's trading session to break a four-day bullish sentiment. The All Share Index ASI traded 0.90% lower to close at 52,109.43 index point as against 52,580.86 recorded in the previous day's trading session. The market capitalization of equities depreciated by a 256 billion naira to close at 28.374 trillion naira, a 0.90 loss or percent loss compared to the 28.63 trillion naira recorded in the previous trading session. Market breadth closed negative as Academy uh, minus 10% led by losers, ABC Trans. Uh, led the uh, gainers chart while well, access holdings PLC was the most traded equity at the end of Thursday's session. And now to energy matters. Oil prices lead about 1% on Thursday after solid U.S. economic data spurred the dollar to reach a two-month high on growing expectations that the U.S. Federal Reserve could raise interest rate again in June. Brent futures fell $1.10 or 1.4% to settle at $75.86 a barrel. U.S. West uh, Texas Intermediate crude fell $0.97 cent or 1.3% to settle at $71.86. A stronger dollar can weigh on oil demand by making the fuel more expensive for holders of other currencies. U.S. inflation does not seem to be cooling fast enough to allow the Federal Reserve to pause its interest rate hike campaign, according to two Fed policymakers. Now to shipping, the Nigerian Shippers Council says uh, it saved a whopping 2.7 billion naira between 2020 to 2022. The council in its newsletter called Complaints Newsletter, a periodic publication of the agency, said the fund could have been lost to shipping companies and terminal operators through demurrages, among others. The NSC in the publication said during the period under review, it recorded a total of 1,727 complaints. Given a breakdown of the figures, the NSC said that 2021 had the highest figure of complaints by shippers with 666 cases handled and 2.5 billion naira recovered on behalf of the trading public in the year. And to manufacturing now, the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MEN, has warned that the country's uh, manufacturing sector is in acute recession, other than that the 2023 fiscal policy measures, FMP, recently released by the federal government may lead to the total collapse of the sector, especially the non-alcoholic beverages subsector. In a statement made available by the man President Francis Michoye, it said the exponential increase in excise duty in the 2023 FPM is coming at a time when the manufacturing sector was already immersed in unprecedented crisis. 
For instance, the Nigerian manufacturing sector recorded a 36% downturn in profit margins from 2021 to 2022, and over 400% increase in energy costs, further constraining growth of the sector. Mishoye further stated that the manufacturing sector has been struggling with crushing sales, mainly attributable to the sustained Naira scarcity. And that's it on Business Roundup. We'll take a break and I'll be introducing my guest in a moment to join us again.